On today's show, we answer the question, how big is Tanite? Blah, blah, blah. On today's show, we answer the question, how big is 10 acres? So, 10 acres is actually 43,560 square feet. Wait, wait, I mixed that up. One acre is 43,560 square feet. 10 acres is 435,600 square feet. Yes, big difference. But there is something very interesting about that number. <laughs> <laughs> I believe what he's alluding to <laughs> is that it doesn't have to be in a square. Is that right? Yeah. It could be in a circle or mm -hmm. a rectangle or an amoeba shaped yeah, amoeba -shaped. plot of land. Is yeah. that right? I've never seen. <laughs> An amoeba-shaped plot of land, but yes, you're right. They've the, got to be out there. The interesting thing about the measurement of an acre is that it doesn't have a set shape. It just has a set square footage. Hmm. So in this case, 10 acres, 43,560 square feet could potentially be in any shape. Just so happens that Lutherville is in a perfect square, so it's approximately 660 feet per side. So there you go. As a hang glider pilot, that's something else I've done. I haven't mentioned that, have I? Yes. I am also a licensed hang glider pilot. Mm -hmm. And one of the most difficult things to learn as a pilot was how to judge altitude on sight. See, since there are no visual clues between you and the ground, how can you tell the difference between 500 feet and 800 feet? See, as a new pilot, I'd have to constantly check my altimeter and look at the ground. And eventually you start to learn how big houses and trees and roads look at 300 feet and 500 feet and 900 feet and you start to gain the ability to judge your altitude pretty accurately just based on look. Mm -hmm. But it takes practice and it takes a while to be able to figure that out. It's really difficult to visualize those sort of sizes especially when you're in a place where there aren't any visual cues. Mm -hmm. You don't have sidewalks, you don't have fire hydrants, you don't have other buildings to kind of help you judge distances. So it can be kind of hard to picture exactly how big 10 acres is. Since it is difficult to visualize, this might make it a little bit easier for you. These are three city blocks and these three city blocks are 10 acres. Now, to make it a little bit easier to see, we can highlight them in blue and scroll back from the direction that we came. So again, this is 10 acres in a regular city. And now we can actually look at this from another angle. This right here is actually the exact same city blocks, but this is looking uh, from a northern angle instead of a western angle. So again, we can see these three blocks that are in the center of the screen, and again, highlighting them in blue makes it a little bit easier to distinguish which three blocks it is that I'm talking about. So when you see in this context what 10 acres actually looks like, it becomes a little bit easier to understand the size of Lutherville. Kind of difficult to visualize 10 acres when you're just looking at a bunch of sand and creosote bushes, it's a little bit easier when you can see it in this context. Lutherville is an educational series inspiring kids and adults to become excited about innovations in science and technology by documenting the design and construction of a Mojave Desert homestead called Galatea Meridian. Witness the crazy story of how Eric Mus Barnes an unemployed computer geek and struggling novelist risks homelessness by spending most of his life savings to build an off-grid dream house in the middle of nowhere. Having purchased vast acres of the Old West, can Eric find a stable job and create his home before his money runs out? Take a journey where fortitude and a pioneering spirit continue to forge the American dream on the romantic landscape of the American frontier. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Lutherville. And be sure to share this with your friends and family. And remember, if your ambitions don't scare you, they're not big enough.